What's going on everybody, it's Inferno here with a brand new Pokemon episode for today, and uh, last time, uh, Taro's died. But, soul for a soul. Uh, Gene evolved into a Coilet. So really sad, because literally last episode we got the Baryodite. And Baryet, I think that's the name, is literally the evolution of Bastion. I've been here all day and nothing, not even right. I just hate hearing that over and over in my head. Anyways, kids, maybe you could do better. Uh, I guess that's why I'm saying I'm not a fisherman. Take this, it definitely won't be neat. Oh, cool, this is where we get super red. Neat. Whoa, Thunderbolt. Yo, that is amazing. I'm definitely giving that thing to Sparky. Sparky, learn Thunder Wave, Thunderbolt. Oh, yeah. Alright, so we have Gene in front. We can fight this dude. I come from a big family of fishermen. Fishing is my legacy. Neat, neat, neat. Uh, Charles. Hi, Charles. Dread, my last step. Oh, uh, anything over here? No, no. And there's something there. And there's nothing here. Uh, alright, let's, let's start hitting this way. We should get close to like the next... Fight me. Oh, shoot. Right here. Yes. It's my life goal to be the cover on Pokemon Illustrated Magazine. How cool beans. So, I think we're kind of close to the next city. I forgot what it was. Awesome! Ah, that's not cool! You're not cool. Hey, an Ultra Ball. Nice. I'm not complaining. Alright, we should, we should be getting closer. Just... Ooh. Oh damn it, I wanted to family duty on her fishing. I wanted the Pokeball. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell was that thing in the bottom? I have been beaten honorably. To battle with skill on the ocean, you must be in tune with the ebb and flow of the tides. Cool, what's this? An Eviolite. Eviolite, Eviolite. Okay, there's something down there that we could get if we go through here. Yo, let's let's check it out. Alright, we can now go here. Wonder what this is. Payback, that would have been nice on Taros. Super training tent. Tutor Hitomi. Okay, but like, what's the specialty? Hello? Welcome to Hitomi, and I'm a ninja from Tsukinami Village, and I offer specialized training and special defense. No, I, 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 I don't care. Oh, hi there. Fact! Shrimp, shrimp cutie can boost bursts of boiling hot water out of the claws. Shrimp cutie? Oh, that's a new Pokemon here? Dead. Dead. Trainer. Hello. Swimming is the best thing you can do to stay in shape. Dead. Yeah, my arms are tired. Cool beans, cool beans. And my Pokemon are tired. So, I'm gonna heal them up. We're close? Yes! Here we are, guys. Silverport Town. Hi. Repels effect, we're off. No, we don't want to. Don't want to repel. Nice! Welcome to Silverport, everyone. I let the children play at being pirates and ninjas, but to tell the truth, I wish they wouldn't. Here in East Sandor, pirates are all across the ocean, and no one knows what the ninjas are up to. I dodge your attacks with my ninja techniques. Swift and quiet, I sneak out behind you and knock you out with my sleeping gas. I'm a fierce pirate of the sea. Yar, matey, you slippery fish. I'll quit you with my cutlass. Those kids have quite the imagination. It's cold up north. I can't wear my mini skirt every day anymore. Huh. I, I, I wonder what. I wonder what's gonna happen here at the Silverport. All right. Hello. The Pokemon Serenity. Serenity. Hey, we just faced that thing. It has a human-like cry and a feminine look. She attempts to wait and learn to see us through their doom. Oh, like a the siren. To catch a real Daikatuna, you have to use a metal fishman and special bait, otherwise their soul will cut right through. Oh, cool. I, I mean, I have a Sedai, so... Oh god, no. We're at, we're at a Pokemon Center. Oh, oh my god, Simon. Simonette. Cuddlebug. And Sorin. No, Sorin! Now <laughs> Tauros joins the thing too! Damn it. Cuddlebug and Tauros both died here like pretty soon after they evolved. No, now, now we gotta grab another Pokemon. Let's see, we have to look at our, you know, team. So we have a Grass Dragon. Ooh, actually, I'm gonna drop you off too. Right? And, well, with our Fighting-type gun. 
we might as well get Harry back. Gotta train him up a bit though, he's uh, kind of behind. And Happy, Sparky, Nato, we've already got a water type though. Nightclaw, the rock type, water steel type Raphael. Diggy, Diggy was pretty cool. But you know what? Diggy may be really weak. Ooh, wait, actually, Krampus and Max. Nah, they're way too weak. Alright, Diggy, while an odd choice, does have an evolution in this game. Not sure what. Orion. Ooh. I mean, it would be cool, but it's fine. Dunsparce has an evolution in this game. And I want to find out what the hell it is. So, first things first, experience share. We'll give it to... Dude, shoot, who do we give it to? Oh, no, no, no. Don't toss the experience share. Give it to Diggy. Yeah, D Diggy needs it so much, so much more than uh, Harry. You're gonna need some more clothes if you plan on braving the icy tundra of Route 16. Oh, boy. The Route 16 is on the slope of Mount Flat tonight. One of the two major mountains in Sandor. East Sandor has a nuclear power plant of its own. We believe that this is a risk since the two plants in West Sandor were destroyed. The entire Ranger squad on the area is in high alert. Oh, that's right. The things went exploded over here. What's a trainer like you doing in Silverport? You must be looking for the next move. That's in Snowbank Town, to the east. Oh, there's no gym here? Bro, that sucks. Silverport was founded as a fishing outpost. Most of the residents sailed out to, s to sea each day to fishing, including my husband. Hello. Have you seen Silverport's Pokemon Lab? They're doing some important research there. Oh, is this it? The Larkspur's Pokemon Research Lab. Hey, let's visit that in just a second. What's over here? Oh, a cave. Okay, let's visit that right now. Let's go. Let's go to the Pokemon Lab. Let's see if they have something for us to do. Because I don't want this to be just another filler episode. Hey, yo, what's with your haircut, dude? You look, look kind of scary. Let, let's talk to everyone else first. With technology, we can clone a new Pokemon from just a tiny scrap of DNA. This method can be used to revive Pokemon that have been extinct for centuries. Oh, cool. So this is where you get the fossils. We're doing research on the methods of taming Pokemon. Look, there's a... O10. 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 Seems like the O10 wants to say something to you. Seems like it's considerable distress. Huh. You have to help me. These people are very mean. They put me in an uncomfortable ball and poke me with things that sting and I'm so hungry. Please, take me away from these bad humans. You. Oh. We've, uh, we've, we've, we've done something. Oh, can you understand what that Oten is saying? What is that device in your hand? Oh, very interesting. This looks to me like the Pokemon speech translator machine that's developed at Cypress Labs. It's clunky and inconvenient, so it must only be a prototype. Still, to have the power to understand exactly what Pokemon are saying. So Lily finally managed to break the language barrier. Oh, the things I could do if I had that technology. Still, she entrusted her, you with her research. I can't imagine what she would want you to hand it away so readily. So what will it be? I can pay you 100... 100,000. Or I can give you some rare and strong Pokemon from our lab if you prefer. Uh... Uh... Guessing on what the O10 has said... Kinda wanna decline that offer? No? I suppose you made a promise to Lily, didn't you? How honorable of you. I can't fault you for that. Now leave us, please. We have important work to attend to when you are interrupting our research. Oh dang, okay, guess we got... Ooh, very interesting indeed. Kit, kit, oh god, no, I didn't, I didn't get to finish. I didn't get to talk to everyone. Um, hmm. I don't know how I feel about them. There's nothing over here. Dang, this sound really isn't much, huh? Just, you know, heal up my Pokemon stuff. No, gee, yay, these guys weren't here before. Hey. Going somewhere? You got something the boss wants. Yeah, and we ain't gonna let you pass till the boss gets what he wants. Quick, take their Pokeballs. Not so tough without your friends to fight for you, are you? Um... Hmm... You guys want the PTS? I'm being carried somewhere. It's hard to stay conscious. It is! 
It's the weird bald dude. Oh look, you're awake! I knew that you'd be powerless if I caught you by surprise. After all, what good is a trainer without their Pokemon? You don't have them to defend you, you're just a poor, helpless child. Please understand, I never meant to cause you any harm, but I couldn't let you go with that valuable prototype, of course. I'll let you in on your secret. Larkspur Research Industries has been underwater for quite a while. I owe a significant sum of money to people that one doesn't want to be in debt to, but that will all change now once we've got the Pokemon Speech Translator prototype. My scientists will reverse engineer it, and we'll start mass producing our own copies. We can use this technology to further our research into a machine that will let trainers suppress their Pokemon's will, making them obey without hesitation. Yo, what are you doing? I know of at least a few organizations who are promising to pay me very highly when this technology is complete. Now, be a good little kid and keep quiet. My scientists are examining the Pokemon Speech Translator as we speak. When they are done with their work, I'll let you go free. But we can't have you causing any trouble before then. If you do as you're told, we may even let you have your Pokemon back again. Although, I'm sorely tempted to keep them for myself. We could always use more specimens for our experiments. Ho ho ho. Hey. Jackass. Hey! Uh, what's in the toilet? Small and tea, I don't really want to use it. Water's cold, but I wouldn't try drinking it. Guess there's nothing to do but try and sleep. Uh, let's not rest just yet. What? What? There's something off about this wall. Yeah, probably because there's a giant crack in it. What's in here? Uh, no nothing. Okay, I guess... We have to go to sleep? Hey! You! Wake up! Here's some food! Eat! Oh, I thought someone was... You don't exactly feel hungry. Huh. There's a nut under the bread. I can't tell you who I am, but I just want you to know that I don't think what the professor is doing is right. Kidnapping a child. I can't be seen helping you out though, so all I can do is tell you this. There's a structural weakness in your cell. If you check the wall behind your bed, it's very thin. One or two good thugs will do it. It won't lead you out, but maybe you'll find something helpful on the other side. The password is 092. Good luck. Oh my god, my Pokemon are gone! Yo! Get us, get us. Alright, cool. Alright, here's the wall. Um. So that's interesting, we just got kidnapped. And, well, I guess this isn't a filler after all. Great! Now, ooh. We're, we're gonna break out of this place soon. Alright, next episode, guys, we're gonna, you know, bust out of here. Hopefully, right? See what we can do. Structural weakness here in the wall, so not bad. Uh, well, yeah. Jesus Christ, I hope they, they're not doing anything to my dear Hephaestus. Or Jean. Or Marvin. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. So, next episode, we're gonna break out of here. Alright, leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see more of this stupid stuff. And until next time, everybody, uh, see ya.